بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear members of the press, leaders of the communities, organizations, and members of the public, first of all, on behalf of the International Union of the East Turkestan Organizations, we would like to extend our sincere appreciations for your support, for your solidarity, and for your caring to the cause of East Turkestan. Today, we are here to commemorating an event took place on the 5th of February 1997, 26 years ago, in the city of Ulja of East Turkestan. There is a bloody crackdown by the Chinese military forces against the civil members of the public of the Uyghur Muslims. On the 4th and the 5th of February 1997, a group of Muslims demanded for the justice in the streets of the Gulja, where they are encountered by the excessive military forces of the Chinese militia, Chinese army and the Chinese government system, which was supported by the Chinese economy, by the Chinese public and the Chinese media. They have portrayed that protest as an separate activism. Rather, it was a freedom movement that seeking justice from the international communities, from the Chinese government and from the humanities. However, 26 years ago, the world has witnessed that the Chinese army opened fire against the civilians in the streets, killing hundreds, arresting thousands, leaving many of the families torn apart. Children continue to suffer. Women are unable to breathe. Then many thousands were taken into prison where their organs are harvested. They were locked up in the factories, in the dark prisons, in the frozen factories. Their legs are cut, hearts are taken, and brains are washed. That's why we are here to remind the whole members of the public in Turkey and the international community members about the dark fates of the history that took place 26 years ago. Then another continuations of the genocide happening in East Turkestan against the Uyghur people. In the eyes of the international community, today the people of East Turkestan living in an open hellfire situation where they are unable to access to their family members, unable to access a medical assistance unable to access a social care or cohesive system of the nation. Chinese government continuously arrested our people, harassed our nations, sterilized our women, abducted our children, killing our members. Today the whole society is becoming a dark pages of the nation. The agony, the tragedy is continuing. Rather, the international community, including our country and the other Muslim countries, are becoming dead silent. We are here to call your humanity, your resilience, your humanity and your heart to wake up, to stand in solidarity with the people of East Turkestan, with the people of Turkic Uyghur Muslims, with the people of Muslim nation, which has been an integral part of the Ummah for 1,000 years. History will not forget which side you have taken. History will not forget the nation, the nation which has stood for the system of justice, for the bravery, for the protections, of those oppressed Muslims of East Turkestan. International unions of the East Turkestan organizations has been taking numerous initiation, activities, and the other projects and the programs to wake up, to shake these nations in this free and democratic country. Rather, we have seen a less attention from the public, media, and the government. That's why we call our government, the Republic of Turkey, 
the National Assembly, the Parliament, members and the other parties of the country to stand for the justice, to stand in support of East Turkestani cause, to speak against the evil system of the terror of China. That's why in the upcoming UN sessions on the 15th of February 2023, we call Turkey and the other Muslim countries, Southeastern countries, Malaysia, Indonesia, and the other Western countries stand strong, stand firm in support of the cause of East Turkestan to raise the concern of the Uyghur cause. Let them know that the genocide will not be forgotten. In 2021, the independent UK tribunal has ruled out the genocide is real. It's not fabricated. The United Nations has published a report in 2022 concluding that China has committed genocide and the other means of crimes against humanity against the Uyghur people in East Turkestan. That's why 10 countries, including the United States, Britain, Japan, Netherlands, Canada, and the other countries has recognized the genocide. What about the Turkey? It is now time for Turkey to recognize the genocide of the Uyghurs. Of course, we appreciate, we thank for the effort of our government, of our president, Sayyid Rajib Tayyip Erdogan's effort. The statement by the our foreign minister, Mevlu Çavuşoğlu, stated they are following the trends happening against the Uyghur Turks in East Turkestan. It's not enough. It is not enough for a nation which is the representing for the interests of Islamic Ummah, representing for the collective interests of the Turkic nations around the world, representing one of the prosperous countries, leading the traditions of Uğuz Khan, Alparslan, and the Najmedin Arbakan. It is not our culture to stand in silence against genocide. That's why we say, wake up, Turkey! Wake up, Turkey! Recognize the genocide! Recognize the genocide! Turkey! Uyama! Kardashina Saibca! Turkey! Uyama! Kardashina Saibca! Last but not least, we would like to raise our concern to the United Nations, to the countries, to the Islamic Conference to the Islamic League in Saudi Arabia and the countries who have neglected our cause, who have failed on the Uyghur Muslims. Stand up, wake up before the dark pressure of genocide come and occupy your heart. We say freedom for East Turkestan! Freedom for East Turkestan! Justice we want! Justice we want! China out! China out! 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 We would like to thank you, every one of you, for your support and the solidarity. The cause, this cause, this fight is not going to end today here. Has not ended by the 5th of February, 5th of April. 5th of July, or 1st of October, or 11th of November, or on the 10th of December, on those special occasions only. We call every members of the East Turkestani families, individuals, and the communities to take this cause as of your life, as of your daily ibadah. That's why this nation the Uyghur nation can only be protected by your action. Thank you so much. Thank you! Allah!